There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Divas, what's up, divas? What's up, divas? So your girl's back for another video. So this is the first time I ever work with this company. But girl, first let me just show off my bracelets, girl. So first of all, you know I gotta promote my own stuff first and foremost. Make sure you check out my website, cause girl, made by month is some new exclusive jewelry that is created and handcrafted by your girl. So make sure you go show your support, love, and check out my website. Even if you don't purchase anything. Go show your support and check it out. Leave me a comment below what you thought about it. I revamped my website. Girl, I've been working hard. I have actually finally recovered from being sick with the flu. And I'm going to just tell you, it takes a lot out of you. Like, seriously, this is the first time I've ever had the flu in my life. And it took a lot out of me. Like, girl, listen, I was sick for weeks. And the recovery period was for weeks also. So I'm finally feeling somewhat back to myself. Thank you, God. But also, you know what I'm saying? I have been just trying to relax a lot. I like to color, I like to make jewelry. So I've been doing a lot of that. Trying to stay off the computer. I know YouTube is somewhat of my life, but sometimes we gotta step back and step away. So this is the third video of the day, girl. It's still early, it's 12 o'clock. So you check out Made by Muff Jewelry. I will link everything down below. And now we're gonna get into this video. So like I was saying, this is the first time I've ever worked with this company. They are called Ali Bonnie, and they sent me this cute little 13 by six or 13 by four lace frontal. It's very natural curls. You know, it's like a kinky curly type of experience going on here. You know, very curly. It has those natural curly edges, baby. Did take some of my styling mousse or styling foam by Mark Anthony, which I love. And honey, there is not hardly anything in here. But while the hair was wet, I did kind of like saturate the front end of the unit and just brush some of those extra curly edge hairs back into the unit because I don't want to too many, not too less, but I don't want a lot of them. That's just me. This is my preference. You can do what you want. I did bleach it. I did not leave the bleach on forever, meaning not so long. I could have left it on a little bit longer, but that's what concealer is for, baby. Okay. And she does come with, you know, some adjustable, uh, an adjustable strap and some combs. There's no elastic in this one, sweetheart. So you gotta, you know, you gotta do that yourself. But girl, while I cut the lace off of the back part, let's just get into how this wig comes. Girl. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better Uh-huh, uh-huh Is this what you want now? Or is it because you can't forget her? So this is the part that you guys want to pay close attention to. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. But as you see, I'm going to be using some hair clips to hold the hair back and also to customize the unit. These are standard sizes, so they do come bigger than normal, or meaning it may not fit you properly. As you guys see, the wig is overlapping my ear, but I did put a part 
where it stopped or where my ear began. So what I did was I made a part with my comb and I'm just gonna cut away that excess lace. This will make sure that your lace sits flat. We really don't want our wig to be too big overlapping our ear because that will just defeat the purpose. And then I go ahead and I repeat that on the opposite side. Now in the beginning of the video or the beginning of the demonstration, you did see me put some powder press powder makeup on the inner portion of the wig cap that's because I wanted to just make sure that it was close enough as possible to my own scalp color and now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the lace and just remove it from the hairline now you want to make sure that you have all kind of clips as you guys see I have regular clips I have duck bill clips I have all kind of clips when it comes to styling and cutting my units this will definitely help you in the long run because you do not really want to cut off any extra hair and now it's time to adhere this unit. Now because the lace is thicker, you know, there are all different types of lace. There's Swiss HD, there's HD, there's Invisible. Girl, there are so many different types of laces. But the first key is to make sure that whatever type of product you're using to adhere it, that it becomes tacky prior to putting on another layer. I prefer to use hairspray, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray on three layers of hairspray. Depending on how thick the lace is, depends on how many layers of glue or hairspray you may need. So between each layer, you want to make sure that each layer becomes tacky prior to spraying the last layer on or the next layer on. And you also want to make sure it's tacky when adhering the unit. Now normally what I'll do, depending on the lace, is I'll just press it into my sticky or tacky hairspray and I'm good. But because this lace is a little bit thicker, I'm going to also be pressing it in. But I'm going to have to use some heat. So I'm going to be using my blow dryer to make sure that this lace is melted into my hairline. Now when I say hairline, I don't mean directly on my hairline, but below the hairline. You don't want to sit the wig directly on your hairline because, girl, you won't have one after a while. Now, I always find it cool to use the blow dryer on a cool to medium temperature. But, girl, listen, I don't use no medium temperature. I just keep it on cool because I ain't trying to burn my skin off. And just to go ahead and brush these extra hairs away, because I did brush some of the curly edges into the unit, but I do prefer it to be a little bit less. So I'm going to be just brushing some more into the unit, and I'm going to be using my Mark Anthony Curly Hair Styling Foam to proceed on with this task. I love the styling foam. I wouldn't say to use it in your entire hair because it is thick and it does get sticky. But just to smooth down your edges on any type of hair texture, girl, it works wonders, okay? And it does work really well for all type of products I've noticed. So, you know, this part is optional. You do what you do best, what suits you. And for me, I don't really like a lot of edges or curly edges or baby hair. So I just try to make it less and that's what it is. Now, because I said I didn't bleach the hair for too long, I am going to be using some of my favorite Ardell concealer. I did purchase this a minute ago, but first we're going to have to tame this hair. Now, it does get wild like Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. It does get like that, but first things first, I'm going to take my spray bottle, which does have water in it, and it also contains some conditioner. The conditioner is suave conditioner from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't have to be anything expensive, but you do want to put some drops up in there. I ain't saying pour a whole bunch of conditioner but just enough and get you a good detangling brush girl I love the brush that I have I purchased it from Amazon girl it is everything and I'm also going to be using my tropical roots styling foam which is also by Bronner Brothers I love this stuff it's not too thick of a foam like the Mark Anthony's it is a nice lightweight foam and it's really good for when you want to brush it into your hair you don't want too thick of a foam because it will make the hair sticky and weigh the hair down so I prefer a thinner foam when using it throughout the whole entire hair this is just trial and error girl you know i have tried so many different products so after a while you do get the hang of things and that's really important water always with conditioner when spritzing your hair and a lighter weight foam and there you have it baby do it like it's your b-day okay All right, you guys, so this one took some work, girl, work, okay? So now let's time to play. 
Okay, I think I slay, what do you say? Let me tell you, I don't like my hair so big and full. And if you allow this to get out of control, girl, it definitely will. So I had to tame it with some water, which has conditioner in it. And also some of this Tropical Roots Styling Foam, Moisturizing Scope Styling Foam. I normally use this for my own natural curls because it works, honey. So girl, I had to use it for this because I really didn't have any of this. But I think this worked out better because it's not as thick as the Mark Anthony's. It's a looser foam. Which will make it less sticky i tend to see notice that this sometimes makes it a little bit sticky like you know very sticky to the touch and also it seems like it just is a little bit thick so i wouldn't really put this in my hair too much um especially my wig hair um i don't even use it in my own natural hair but this i too i do like it was 5.99 girl the beauty supply store it's a toss-up between this and i think the other one is called tgi which is like 11 dollars girl i ain't about to use that on my wig i just use it on my natural hair and i use that very sparingly but this i do like this is by barnum brothers um sprayed it down and combed through it it tamed it that's what i needed it to do because i was trying my heart is not to walk out looking like some type of wild wolf like girl like this hair will definitely give you Shaka Khan vibes, like straight up. But for the most part, it worked out. Now y'all seen I had to pull out my blow dryer. Let me just tell y'all something. I be knowing when it's that lace. You can always tell when you need that blow dryer for that lace. When the lace is a little bit thick on the thick side, baby, you got to pull out some of that heat. Plus I seen like, girl, listen, I just had to do my work. It still came out cute. I could have left the bleach on a little bit longer, but girl, baby, do it like it's your B-Day all day. Put the camouflage concealer on anyway and just slay. I'm just saying, that's how we do. That's how we do. Y'all see, I left those little curly edges down a whole lot more. Normally, I will just, you know, push them back. But my daughter Tati told me that one time I did that. And she was like, it looked like pube hairs, honey. And I was like, oh, yeah. Like, I don't really want it to look like pube hairs. Because I don't be really liking a lot. But she was like, it looked like pube hairs. And I don't really be wanting to go outside looking like I got pube hairs on my hairline. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. girl, like, beware. Don't be finger combing this too much unless you're going for that full shock of con look. I would highly suggest that you tame this bad boy. Get you some good styling foam and a good spritz bottle with some water and condition girl and a good one of these brushes right here these brushes always win they are the win-win and you good to go i'm just saying i'm just gonna let you know like i'm gonna leave all the information down below y'all let me know what y'all think of this one in the comments below and make sure look you better check out my website girl made by muff okay yes i'm gonna promote my own self all right yes baby do it like it's your be day all day do it like you grown and sex day okay do it like you was born a slave. I'm just saying. I love you all. Stay diva and devolicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs the video up. Y'all already know what to do. Check out Made by Muff Accessories. I will put the link down below for you. And on that note, I love you guys. And I'll see y'all in the comments and in the next video. Bye.